Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. And it is Sunday today. It is Sunday. And by the thumbnail, by the title, I got a lot to catch you guys up on. Okay, so today it's been two weeks since I posted an update video. And this past week, I didn't even upload a what I eat in a day. So, um, like, normally I feel like I always have to catch you guys up. But now it's, like, even more so because I haven't been giving you any updates. So let's start with last week. So the week of Mother's Day. Um, that week was a horrendous week for me. I was not in a good headspace mentally. I was, I think I had like two or three crying breakdowns. Um, and I think that was because of a lot of things. I think it was hormones. I think it was just quarantine. Um, and then kind of the cherry on top of that hot mess Sunday was my diet because we know that I've been frustrated with keto. Um, I've just been bored and that just was not helping the situation. I'm, I'm finding now that I'm really identifying with kind of this thing people have been saying, um, in quarantine in isolation where like one day you're totally fine and you have your shit together and you feel like everything's going to be okay and then the next day you're like a puddle on the floor like that's that especially during that week that's how i was feeling so i think monday tuesday maybe monday tuesday wednesday i was keto and then the rest of the week i didn't give a you know what uh mother's day was planned like i was not going to eat keto but i should have you know stayed on track the rest of the week and i didn't so that's kind of like last week. So now rolling into like the end of the week that we're, you know, we're in currently. Um, Monday morning, you know, Sunday night, we did social distancing at my parents um, for Mother's Day. That was really nice. It was just me, Cernan and Daisy didn't go. So it was like me, my sister, and my parents. I had Mexican food. It was delicious. Then the next day, so Monday, this past Monday, um, I woke up and I was like, yeah, I'm going low carb. Like I, it wasn't even this whole thought out thing. I mean, you guys know I've been kind of toying with that idea. I posted the update video where I said, you know, my goal is to get back down to my maintenance weight and then probably switch to low carb because I just need that change. Uh, but no, I just decided we're, we're doing it now. And it's interesting because um, I think that's what I, what I needed. Like, I think I needed to do that now to get down to my maintenance weight, almost like flipped from what I thought, like, no, stay keto till you get to maintenance and then maintain with low carb. But I think it's going to be the opposite. Um, I have been eating low carb all week, which is why I did not post a what I eat in a day. I actually started one, um, started filming one, but I knew it was going to be all low carb stuff so I'd have to explain this in that video because I hadn't put up an update put out an update video yet. So I just scrapped that idea and I was like, "You know what? I will lump all this into the update video now and then next week rolling into it, you guys will know low carb, grocery haul, what I eat in a day, all that jazz." So, you're not going to see in terms of content. So that's kind of the update, the update on that. Then we're going to talk about content and then we're going to talk about my experience this week because this week, all week, I have been low carb. So let's talk about content. Content is not going to change. It's still going to be hauls and what I eat in a days and um, recipe videos every now and then, reviews. That's not going to change. And I honestly, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I don't think that stuff's going to look all that different. Um, I'm not going back to standard American diet. I'm not doing paleo. I'm not doing Whole30. I'm doing low carb, which is very, not the same, very similar to keto. So I would hope that if you are keto and that's why you watch me, you would still stick around. I'm still making low carb recipes. Like today I'm going to make jicama fries. Uh, I'm going to make a low carb soup. Like I'm still... I have more wiggle room for sure, but I'm eating very similarly. Um, you're not going to see any videos on my channel that are that are like, why keto didn't work for me, why I quit keto, um, why low carb is better, because I don't believe any of those things. I love keto. I'm a keto stan, and it did work for me, and I loved it for the time that I was on it, and I am in no way, shape, or form opposed to going back to eating that way. Um, it might even be, like I said, where I get back down to maintenance eating low carb and then I want to switch it up again and go back to eating keto. Uh, I 
will probably be changing like I think my Instagram bio says like keto something 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 uh, I'll probably change that to low carb I know the like background picture of my YouTube like my YouTube header um, has keto like in the graphic um, I'm gonna leave that the way it is because I do see myself probably at some point going back to keto um, and honestly it's not like it's splattered all across my channel it's just a little graphic so that's gonna stay the same too um, but yeah so let's talk about this week this entire week I was low carb low carb for me is a hundred net carbs so I am giving myself 100 net carbs a day that is not a challenge <laughs> like I'm not taking that as you, you gotta get there like I have been tracking all week long I've been using carb manager which I have ripped on in the past because I really didn't like that app um, doing keto I preferred to use the keto diet app or um, the like upgraded version of my fitness pal um, but I am loving carb manager now I really like it I feel like it's really easy to use I like the layout um, so I have it set at 100 net carbs and I have found throughout the week I'm pr I'm pretty much stay between 60 and 70 um, I think one day I I ate like 74 but that's pretty much where I'm staying and while I have a hundred net carbs to use and trust me mentally that wiggle room going from 25 net to 100 feels really really good um, I am not I'm not like <laughs> uh, shoving any and all carbs in my mouth to try to hit that hit that 100 mark so let's talk about weight this week I started out the week at 147.2 I think the last update video I posted I was 146 so I had gone up um, so I was 147.2 on Monday. This morning I weighed in and I was 144.4. Okay, I had to do the math. <laughs> so that's a 2.8 pound loss this week, uh, which is more than I have seen in a long time. And it kind of just goes to show that like, I think I did need this change up. I definitely think a lot of that is water weight, especially since the week prior, I was like really kind of off the wagon. Um, but I'm really happy. I'm, I was texting the girls like Nassim and Jess and Aaron earlier in the week and I, I couldn't think of any other way to, to phrase it other than like I'm thriving. Like that's how I feel. I just feel like this is what I need right now. And if there were ever a time in life, a time in the world where you need to be doing what you need to be doing, it's now. And keto was not working for me. And this so far is I'm not a psychic I don't know what it's going to do to my body next week and the following weeks after that but I can tell you that this 2.8 pound loss has just like really jump-started me wanting to stick with it continue tracking continuing to you know continue to monitor what I'm eating um, more than I have felt in a long time. So that's that friends. I feel like that's all that I want to say. If I miss something or you have questions, definitely drop them down in the comments. I have been like mentally kind of um, noting things that I wanted to include in this video all week because I knew that that was going to be the main focus of this video. Um, so I apologize if I missed something or if it seemed kind of jumbled, but there was just a lot to catch you guys up on. Um, in terms of videos, tomorrow you will be getting a grocery haul, Wednesday a what I eat in a day, and Friday like a mini grocery haul. So all the hauls this week. Um, and yeah, I'm just feeling so much better. I feel like, honestly, I feel like a weight's been lifted. I know that sounds silly, but I just felt like keto was kind of crushing me. And um, now I just feel better and lighter and happier and <laughs> just feels good it feels good in these uncertain times to feel good <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed again drop me a comment down below if i miss something or you have questions or whatever and i really hope that you guys will stick around i feel like we've created such a good place here and again i'm not like I'm not going back to eating like burgers and fries and stuff like low carbon keto are very similar so um i hope that you guys will stick around but if not i com i completely understand there are so many great keto focused channels out there and um i feel you on that one if you if you you know need to go by the wayside i totally get it uh and yeah i will see you guys tomorrow with a um grocery haul it will be walmart and costco i got quite a couple interesting things at costco so keep an eye out See you then, friends.